my dream is to become a rap star you know all that ice fat rims nice cars you know the money all that good stuff but my major problem is recognition how do i get recognized So a friend introduced me to Smile P, the owner of Spend My Money Records, and I asked him if he could help me. He said he could, but he would like to listen to what I've got. So I sent him a mixtape. Two weeks down the line, I received a letter. It was a contract, and I had to sign on it, but I had to read it first. After reading all that, I got so excited. I couldn't wait to get started. You know, finally my dreams will come true. The cribs, the cars, more cribs, more cars, you know, money, more money, groupies. So many things. I mean, I was really looking forward to this. I got so excited and, and there it went. I started singing. I became global. I thought I was making money, but people were making more money off my records than I did. They could burn it off internet sites and they could sell it at a cheaper rate. Now this was a big problem to me and I ended up broke. No money, my record label dropped me and I had to wake up from that dream. I say good things don't last. In my case, it didn't last that long. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 5. The music industry cracks down on illegal music downloaders and a Boston University graduate student is the latest to go on trial. 35,000 people have been charged with copyright infringement over the past five years. And the owner of Platypus Records says it's not as much illegal downloading that hurts his business. It's the fact that people can legally download music and then burn it to CDs themselves. Fans need to be compensated for their work. It's a lot of work, uh, writing music. I don't agree with that. I'm wondering if you're downloading illegally or if your children are downloading illegally. The good news is, is that if you're paying for it, you're safe. If you're not, you could get caught for illegally downloading music.